among several hundred ceramic sherds recovered from the surface soils of the hummingbird pyramid in Lamana, Ecuador during the field season 2014, are many recognizable fragments of dining plates, stilted cooking pots, and stilted platters. This group of exciting finds includes more than a dozen examples of small and medium-sized cooking pots that are intricately adorned with a broad, circumscribed band of repeating hieroglyphic pictograms. Here in the sunlight, we can see the brilliance of the sparkling sand crystals, and we've got a text also engraved in bands along the shoulders of these vessels, many of which are cooking pots. While various pots are covered with soot from cooking fires, other pots were apparently used for mixing a geopolymer cement paste. The exterior of a small stilted pot bears hardened smears of this orange cement, suggesting the vessel was used for mixing the small quantities occasionally used to repair walkways on the pyramid itself. The considerable hardness of these refined ceramic products is contrasted by their high porosity that results from their very high content of quartz sand and other more exotic particulate inclusions. Particulate loading of the kale and clay imparts the distinctive sandy coloration and sparkling brilliance when viewed in direct sunlight, emphasizing the reflective quartz grains and a variety of metallic mineral inclusions. An intact example of a similar stilted platter was discovered during residential excavations near La Mana and has been included to provide reference aiding visualization of the original size and stilted design configuration of cooking pots from the Hummingbird Pyramid's upper walkways. The advanced culture that produced these sophisticated earthenware vessels was identified by Edgar Cayce as the Oham civilization, the predecessors of the Inca, during the Paleolithic period when the lands of Peru were known as Og and the lands of Ecuador were known as On. The high mineral content of these porous, often unglazed ceramics from atop the hummingbird pyramid are comparable to modern earthenware, with the exception of the presence of pulverized metallic inclusions for which no modern or ancient equivalent has ever been documented. This earthenware is magnetic. Under magnification at 200 times, micrographs of the sherd show an abundance of translucent quartz and black tourmaline crystals derived from crushed granites, 
as well as yellow iron pyrite flakes, bright white nickel filings, and fine red particles of crushed laterite. Selective admixture of magnetic metals and pyroelectric crystals in ceramics matches the constituents of pyramid geopolymer stones for endowing these materials with enhanced electromagnetic properties. The interior surfaces of this pot sherd have been darkened by a fine carbon residue that provides contrast with bright clusters of reflective nickel and pyrite particles mixed in quantity throughout the ceramic material, endowing the magnetic properties of a semiconductor. Semiconductors are the foundation of modern electronics. The electrical conductivity of a semiconductor material increases with increasing temperature which is behavior opposite to that of a metal. Because the electrical properties of a semiconductor material can be modified by controlled addition of impurities or by the application of electrical fields or light, devices made from semiconductors can be used for amplification, switching, and energy conversion. Once again, microscopy at 200 times reveals an even distribution of pulverized magnetic constituents, including quartz, tourmaline, pyrite, nickel, and laterite. One of the more complex and beautiful examples of Paleo-Sanskrit shoulder text inscriptions decorates a small magnetic cooking pot reading Ris, Ris V, Ris Mi Isya, Ris Kar, meaning dwindling, from dwindling synchrony commencing dwindling works. Very similar hypnotic designs with tightly nested spirals characterize ligature groups used by Paleolithic and Neolithic cultures throughout Eurasia. A pot fragment found on the lower slope of the hummingbird pyramid bears fine hieroglyphic inscriptions forming pictograms of pyramids reading Ris, Ris Kar, Ris Adhias, Ris Adhias, meaning dwindling, dwindling works, dwindling for delivering, dwindling for delivering. Also seen worldwide is another iconic shoulder text, once again forming a pictogram of pyramids in rows, reading Raua Kar, Raua Kar, Raua Kar, meaning Roaring Works, Roaring Works, Roaring Works. The exterior of a small stilted pot bears hardened smears of orange cement. Inscribed text on the pot's shoulder reads Ris, Ris Adhi, Ris, Ris Kar. Risadhi, meaning dwindling, dwindling delivering, dwindling, dwindling works, dwindling delivering. Another pictographic representation of pyramids in rows decorates the shoulder band of another small cooking pot, reading Riskar, Risya, Risya, meaning dwindling works, dwindling commencing, dwindling commencing. Another pot sherd was circumscribed with a very similar shoulder text forming a pictogram of pyramids in rows, reading Kara Ya Ra, Kara Ya Ra, meaning action commencing granting, action commencing granting. A fragment from a small pot with an orange-red exterior glaze paint was circumscribed around the same characteristic shoulder band with a palindrome reading Raua, Raua Asadhi, Adhi as raua, raua, meaning roaring, roaring for delivering, for delivering roaring, roaring. A few small fragments from a medium-sized stilted cooking pot offer inscribed rows of nested triangles representing a votive text referring to the thunderous infrasound resonance emanating from the pyramids, reading raua, raua ya, raua adhi as, raua adhi as, meaning roaring, roaring initiating, Roaring for delivering, roaring for delivering.